Hey everybody, welcome to Sam Livecast. Brand new week. It's Monday. I'm excited to be here. Thanks for being here too. We like it when you hang out with us. We especially like it when you tell your friends about us. Share the live cast with people that don't know about the live cast. That makes us very happy. Oh, yeah. Max, Lynn, does it make you guys happy? Very happy. Absolutely. How could it not? Hello, boys. How are you? We're doing great. How are you? Uh, Well, I'm fantastic. But do you realize we are... Today's Monday. Mm -hmm. Do you realize we are two short days away from from MasterChef starting on Fox? Oh, yeah. You're right. And our giant Asian friend in there, Lynn... Is part of the uh, lineup this year. The man. Oh, yeah. We can't tell you how far he went. We don't know ourselves. Mm-hmm. We can only tell you he's part of it. Watch he could get compete. he could get booted out the very first night. Uh, they could not even show me. It could all be a farce. True. Although my name is on the press release, so at least <laughs> I have. So that. we know you. <laughs> if they don't show me, at least I have that. <laughs> right. 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 You think the press releases are different for different cities, right? No, no they have one global press release with all hundred competitors mm. names oh they do and mm-hmm. what they do it's like basically where they're from what they do i see yeah and where are you from and what do you do i'm from san diego california and i'm a systems administrator mm-hmm. nothing about us bitch thank you very much <laughs> yeah i useless. didn't get cast for that apparently god <laughs> they almost casted me from bakersfield california oh, oh my god man. really <laughs> they're like small towns would love you and that's like 10 <laughs> hours north of san diego for anybody right. that doesn't know Right, 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 right. All right, what are we getting into today? So we got so we you guys don't even know what the food theme is. I got a theme for this well, week. I also right don't even know here. what. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't know what that is. Should I unveil this now or should we wait? Let's wait a little bit. Yes, wait. Well, it's slightly taller than the, the it's slightly taller than that. Uh, the first note that I have down is bananas. Do you know why I have that down? Because we crushed it with some frozen bananas. Those frozen last week. bananas we did last week. Unreal. Oh, oh, shoot. My God, how good were they? They were so good. It'd be so cool to see a picture of them. Right? Know. Yeah, you know, we're right when you said it, I actually closed the window. Didn't we? So that was my I fault. know exactly. I think I said. Oh, did you see Kelly just walk in the background? No, I did not. Look at that. From left to right, crushed Heath bar, coconut, and pecans. Yeah, not peanuts. We could have done peanuts. Uh, chocolate covered frozen bananas with peanuts are very common, but no, 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 we didn't do peanuts. We did pecans and we did coconut and we did that Heath bar that does not work crushing it up in your, in your coffee bean grinder. (laughs) No, it just went and just ruined it. I actually ate all of them. (laughs) Did you? (laughs) And I think my favorite, why I had a, Oh, I don't actually know. I skipped the coconut one, but I definitely like the Heath Bar one. Mm-hmm. The Heath Bar one. That was one of my favorite, but you know. Just got that extra sweet. But then the pecans too. I mean, I think it would be good with peanut. I, look, here's the point. Little melted chocolate on the frozen banana, and then you can put anything you want on it. You want to break up M&M's. You want to break up Reese's Pieces. You can do that. If you didn't know, all you got to do is go to the samlivecast.com and check out all That's of our right, amazing Matthew. stuff. Go to the episodes tab and you can see... All of our past amazing. Yeah, that's my favorite. I love going. I go to the episodes to look at the stuff that we've made before. Yeah, hell yeah. Because uh, it's all there. And I just want to say we put a little something, something in the chocolate to make it hard like that. But if you want to know what it is, <laughs> you're going to have to. <laughs> you're going to have to tune into. Yes, without that, you're stuff. effed. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. make sure you watch that episode to see what the trick is. Mm-hmm. So look, I know you boys are hip to the ways of the Skype. Yeah. Yes. I had a, uh, a uh, what's that conference thing? Go to meeting. Go to meeting.com with yeah. some uh, people in Seattle yesterday. It worked quite well. Was not nearly as exciting as my Skype call from here to Vancouver, Canada with my 88 year old mother. There she is. Look Joy at her. Zion. Joy Zion. She was so excited that this thing worked out. We got her on her computer when we were up in Vancouver. Uh, for my dad's unveiling. Mm-hmm. I hadn't used it yet. We were sitting here and I thought, oh, let's try my mom. So I called her up. I told her I was going to do this. And while we were on the phone phone, the cell phone, <laughs> I started ringing it and she hears my computer's ringing. I go, go over, click on this, do that, hit the little video button and there she is. Look at it. She's 88 years old. There is no excuse for you not to be in touch with people around the world via Skype. It is, if you've got a... a computer with a with a built-in camera you're set if you don't like my mother didn't have i think i bought her it was like an 80 dollar 60 80 dollar little thing that sits on the top of her computer oh, they make them for 
20 they're, bucks. They're nothing even. now, they're right? They're nothing. Yes, this was like, I bought it like a year and a half ago. It's only now getting used. But. Hey, you want to know something cool that I just actually realized today? Yeah. Um, yeah. You, FaceTime on Apple devices, like on your iPhone, iPad, things like that. Yes. FaceTime is basically just Skyping, but on Apple yes. devices. Yes, and yes. you used to need Wi-Fi to do it. Now you don't. You can do it on the road. And so I was driving down from LA today and I FaceTimed my dad. Yeah, and That's I promptly crazy. hung up because I don't want you trying to look at the stupid camera. I, I, why, why do I have to look at the camera? Why can't I don't know. we just talk? Be <laughs> because every couple seconds, you would look down at your phone <laughs> that was over there yeah, in, the, in, in the bottom do. of your console. That's what you do. No, You're the king of taking your eyes off the road. <laughs> I don't take my eyes off the road. Oh, I think the mother would beg to differ. I don't want to talk about that. Screw it. You ready for the... Look, look, so, look what's on my screen. Are you ready for the... Culinary word of the day. Oh, yeah. we need like an intro music to this. I know, I know. I know. Do, 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 do. Oh. It's the culinary word of the day. The millionaire. Do, 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 do. I was thinking of more of like a impending doom type yeah. music. <laughs> okay, here's the word. You ready? Yes. You can take my computer again too if you want. Okay. The culinary word of the day is aioli. Ooh. Aioli, which is really just mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. A garlic mayonnaise. That's it. Another word for it is emulsion, and emulsion is what happens when you make a mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. When you put the egg yolks and the lemon juice and the olive oil and the salt and whatever in a thing, and then you use a stick blender, whatever, to mix it all up. It's really that simple. They've been getting more prominent lately, I feel like. Iolis? I think they've yeah. just been calling mayonnaise Iolis, so it sells I better. Know. It's just, I guess that makes I sense. I think that's really what they do. That's all they do. But... The point of the culinary word of the day is to tell you words that you might hear out in restaurants and mm -hmm. not know what the hell they are. Mm -hmm. Our first culinary word of the day was amuse-bouche. Oh, yeah. A little gift from the chef, a little single bite from the chef that some restaurants send out. Really means to excite your mouth. Wanted you to know that. And aioli, if you read on a menu with a whatever kind of aioli, now you know you don't have to go, what's an aioli? Mm -hmm. And feel like you're less than them. And, and some servers will make you feel like a complete piece of crap for not knowing stuff like that. So, Lynn, yes, I think Lynn's right that they're just starting to call like their mayonnaise right. sauces aioli. But right. it's, still, like, it's still definitely becoming more prominent because if it wasn't, then they wouldn't be naming their things aioli. You Are know? you saying the word? No. See, here's what I think the is use happening. Of the, I'm, no, I'm sorry. I'm saying the use of the word is getting more prominent. Not necessarily... The sauces, because we've always had mayonnaise Yes, sauces, you're right. But you're right. I'm seeing aioli all over the place in menus now, and it's something that I feel like used to be more rare. Well, I think they might not have spelled out that there was a garlic mayo attached to whatever the thing was. Yeah. I, I think, think nowadays there's the propensity to list details um, ad nauseum on a, on a menu, and I hate that. There mm -hmm. it is. I hate it. I'd like, give me four, five, six words to describe what I'm having. Yeah. But when it takes the server 30 seconds to spill out of her mouth or his mouth, what the F you, they're going to bring you, Yeah. it's too much. But what about this? So I was at a restaurant a week or two ago that had a cocktail menu, but it didn't have any, didn't have one thing description about what they was were in just the names they were named cocktails well that's stupid and then to to get them yeah you had to ask the waiter of what every single cocktail but were they was. things like like gin and tonic or were they like johnny's mouse trap no, it was like yeah it was like uh like <laughs> johnny's something that trap? was like a mezcal cocktail so I it's see, not it's johnny's mouse trap things yeah, like yeah, that yeah yeah well that then that's that's the opposite and that's stupid as well it was a very hipster restaurant oh. so i thought that maybe that might have had something to do with it they were just like we're not going to put descriptions on some that. days i just want the earth to open up and swallow every hipster that there is <laughs> do they not just make you feel just so inadequate they make me feel inadequate and i'm not normally meant to feel inadequate i'm pretty okay with myself now, how about this when you're at a restaurant and you yeah. try to like make one minor substitution yeah. or a little change Oh, I'm sorry. We don't we don't change every, anything. Yeah, it's we don't change as anything. Is. Right, and that that right. The guy with the bull ring through his nose. But it's very condescending. Yeah. And seventy five tattoos going up the side of his neck, mm -hmm. and half of them are in some language that you can't read. Yeah. And he's wearing a freaking beanie, and it's ninety five outside, and he's <laughs> yeah. got tattoos all over his arms. He looks at you over top of his bull ring, <laughs> and gives you like, no, they're intended to be consumed the yeah. way Chef Manny uh, created them. Yeah, and it's not apologetic. It's yeah, condescending. It's, it's completely effing condescending. <laughs> yes. I hate it. All right.
Moving on. Moving on. I, I, I need to tell us what we're having, th- what this week is are all we about. Are we going to unveil the you-know-what? There we are. Cool. The secret ingredient this week? Yes. Here's what happens. Max and I were shooting Bed Bath & Beyond stuff before Lynn got here. Had our stuff, just cleaning up our stuff. Lynn walks in. Literally, the first or second thing out of his mouth is this. What are we making, dude? Is that Which how you say always, it? It's always. <laughs> so same thing. What are we making, dude? Say yeah. it. What are we making, dude? Just like that. And today I said, I'm not telling you. Did you get a little butt hurt there just for a second? Not really. Cause just you for a second? Tell, no, you always mm-hmm. tell me. You I tell He always gives you shit. <laughs> yes, but Max didn't has, doesn't even know. So you ready? Can we unveil what's under this? Yes, we can. One, two, three, it's... Booyah. Ramen. No it's way. ramen week, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Yes, no sir. Way. How fun is that? And yes, I got to get one of them going right now. So stay right where you are. Okay. okay. Here's the first thing. I need some uh, hot water in this. Hot water in what? In a pot? Uh, no, I, in this, uh, this little bowl that I've got okay. right here. Sorry. That nobody can see. Yeah. Uh, sure. I want to help... Somebody told me this would be a good thing to do, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit of this uh, teriyaki. Wait, look what I've got. I won't use teriyaki. I'm going to use Kentucky yaki that I'll tell you about in a sec. Ooh, cool. Kentucky yaki. So a little Kentucky yaki in here. I got hot water coming right from here. By the way, my uh, sink is here. My hot water heater is way over on the other side of the house and garage. It takes forever. Am I the only one that has this problem? I was wondering about that, actually. That's why. It takes for freaking ever, and I Weird. hate it. Weird. I hate it. So, okay, so a little hot water in this. All I need is enough of this liquid. <laughs> I just need enough of this liquid to be able to bury one of these guys in. I'm just trying to soften it. Because you know what we're going to do once it's softened in a little bit? Hmm. We're going to grill it. What? Yes, we're grilling Are this. Are you serious? So here we go. I don't know, can you see that one? Yeah. Probably not. Yeah, you got it. Okay. And try and... Oh, I need a little bit more. It's not covering it. Okay, my goal is to keep this like a uh, whole. I don't want it to break apart too much. Mm-hmm. So you want to keep the noodles long rather than cracked up. Yes, I want I want to cook it like like it is. So I just need something to sit on top of this. What are you throwing on there? Oh, okay. Oh, I just found a jar. You're just trying to keep it down in the water. Yeah. I'll just stand this. Up. Okay, that's perfect. Hey, look who I got back here. It's Kelly. <laughs> Hey, Kelly. She decided to grace us with her presence. Kelly, it's Roman week. You're lucky. Hi, everyone. We're trying to get her to be in there for the next show, so whatever. I think we'll be able to. Here we go. And we got the mantry. We got the new mantry. Mm-hmm. All right. So what's going to happen is that's going to sit back there by itself for a little bit. Okay. It's going to soften. I don't want it to soften too, too much mm-hmm. because if it does, then it will fall apart and I don't want it to fall apart. Let's get Lynn out of here. Get out of here, dude. What are you doing? Hey, for anybody wondering, right there, the Above and Beyond blog is yes. where you can find all of our cool stuff. That's the most recent video, garlic, to chop or to press. Exactly. Well, what do you do? What do I do? Oh, yeah. what do you mean? Do you chop or press? Oh, do I chop or press? Um, you know what? I think it all depends on the time, like you said. Right. If I have the time, you know what? I might take a little bit of it to chop up and dice the garlic. But if not, press, boom, done. Easy. What do you, Master Chef, what do you do? I always chop because Stacy took my garlic press. Mm. Oh, God. But I used I used to use the garlic press a lot. But you're getting time. the garlic press back in September. <sighs> yeah. Wait, do you we, guys you guys don't live together? No, we don't. We don't. Mm, interesting. Nope. Uh, all right. So for anybody who doesn't know the Mantry, if you're new to the show, um, Mantry is a culinary box that you can buy once a month, or what? you can only get it once. It only comes out once a month. What's their like slogan? It's like the the modern the man's modern men's pantry. Yes. So it Mantry. comes. You there can it is. you can order it once a month, uh, or you can get three three months worth, whatever. And it comes, and they're things, they're cool food items that they've sourced from around the country or wherever. Mm-hmm. And oh, crap, well, you okay there's there? Nails there, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and here's exactly how it comes. 
And there's always cool junk in it. So here's what the stuff is. Oh, you know what? There's a cheat sheet back there, Max. Do you see it? Holy. I got it. Nope. No, I know where it is. Hold on. Sorry, I'm going to come in here right behind you, you guys. You come see us? Yeah. Sorry. It's all good. I think what I need is... Is it in the printer? No. Is there a theme to this week's pantry? I got it. Yeah. I said pantry. Mantry. Mantry. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's the theme. The theme is awards, awards night. These are six products from five outstanding restaurants in America. Okay. All right. And product number one is buttermilk and sage blackberry farm fried chicken mix. Buttermilk brined mix with sage. Boom. Nice. Oh, blackberry farm? Yeah. Do you know them? Yeah. Wow. They're, they're pretty big. In the, uh, like, let's see. Boasting a butchery, a brewery, a creamery, several gardens, blah, blah, blah. Back of the farm is a culinary compound in the foothills of Tennessee's Smoky Mountains. So if you want to make buttermilk and sage brine fried chicken, boom, you get it right here. Instructions right here. Brine, buttermilk, blah, blah, blah. Whisk together, and you're set. Hey, let's try and run through these pretty fast. Sorry. You, you, got, you do this to me every time. And this don't is forget, my job. This is my job. You got bitched I out by Kat because you cut me I off. I am the producer of the show. This is my job to make sure that we don't go for an hour and a half. We're not I'm going for an hour and a half. sorry for anybody out there that thinks we should do that. This is my job. This is what I am paid to do. No, so I don't tell think me not to do it. No, I don't think you're paid to be a tool and yell at me. <laughs> I think you're paid to do what you do. I might have just been yelling at you, but I didn't yell at you when I just said, let's try and run through these fast. <laughs> I, I can only open them so fast. I know. That, Here wait, we go. For anybody who thinks I'm being a douche, watching somebody. They're going to call you out. <laughs> watching somebody. They're going to call you out. They're uh, gonna, I, would just leave, I would leave it. Okay, I will leave it. It's bringing attention to your own meanness. This is full strength drinking vinegar. I don't oh, even gross. get that. I don't even get what that even means. It's a hipster thing, dude. It is it? Huh? If there's a picture of somebody wearing a freaking beanie, I'm going to hit. Andy Ricker has done for America Thai food, American Thai food, what mall food courts haven't. Is Portland joint Pock Pock, which I've heard of, recently set up New York's in New York. Drinking vinegars actually dates back to the colonial era. Get out of here. You're supposed to just drink this? And that's why it's hipster, man. Because <laughs> people are like, people used to do it. What? And now we're going to bring it back. Are you going to do it? Is it bad for you, maybe? No. Pretty good. Is it good for you? I would imagine it's just lower strength vinegar, right? Can we get maybe some... I, I, I'm trying to figure out why you would do it. I don't get it. Health benefits. I guess. That's what it says in this internet page I'm on. Drinking vinegars actually dates back to where they're commonly referred to as shrubs. Yeah, you know what? But they used to put leeches on people back in the old days to make them better <laughs> too. We don't do that anymore. But wait, is there a difference between vinegar and drinking vinegar? Yeah. Uh, Lynn's right. It's definitely well, no, because it's the, definitely much mellower than any vinegar I've had. Okay, it's sweet too. Oh, you're supposed to I dilute think, it too. By the I way, I think I. Oh, you are. I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> I think I would. I think I would have that. Uh, I would like to cook with that. It's pretty good. It's Thank got you. a really nice flavor. I don't see myself drinking it. I'll take a shot but, of it after the show. Okay. Sorry. Quickly trying to go these through these things. I don't want to bore Max. <laughs> and this next one wrap, is. Well, this is how they come, and I have to say Mantry does a good job because they make sure the stuff doesn't get there broken. This is sweet potato habanero hot sauce. Holy shit. Wow. Shite. That sounds good. That I love sounds sweet good, potato. right? Yeah, it looks amazing. And that's from? one uh, from Chefs Donald Link and Steven Strayuski. Mmm. Mm. That, as they suggest, would be really good on the buttermilk uh, sage fried chicken. Oh, yeah. Am I right? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, Max. I'm sorry. I didn't wrap these, and I didn't put this stuff on them. I'm trying to be as expeditious God, as I can. you so misre misrepresent what I'm trying to do. No, no, it's fine. And the way you react to it is why people think that I'm just being a dick. Like, I'm just saying, you're uninteresting. Stop it. That's not what I'm doing. Did you? Have, did it ever occur to you that maybe the reason people think you're being a dick is because you're being a dick? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I ha I'm going to say this. You have producers to ensure that things proceed along the proper way. Yes. And when things slow down too much, it's not good entertainment. And my job is to make sure that we don't spend 
25 minutes sitting here opening things while he just reads off comments that nobody cares about. If you'd stop talking now, I'd be able to get to these and we could finish this segment. <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, Blackberry Farm, smoked onion jam. Okay, this is going to be... That sounds really good too. Unbelievably delicious. Is it going to be sweet Sweet or onions, salty? smoked onions, cane sugar, sherry vinegar, Benny seed, B-E-N-N-E? -N -N -E? Yeah, Salt, sesame that's seed. It. It's sesame seed? Yeah. That's it, smoked onion jam. You know how good that would be on any kind of sandwich? Is it salty sweet? or and pulk, I don't think it's too salty. And pork rub. Oh, my God. So apparently Blackberry Farm, I read in Bon Appetit magazine, it's like the number one rated hotel in like the United States. They do like a lot of, it's like a big, it's like a bed and breakfast, but like oh, cool. on steroids. Right. You know. And where is it? It's a good question. I where did we say? No, we, 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 we said it. It's in Tennessee, isn't it? Mm. Blackberry Farm is a culinary compound in the foothills of Tennessee's Smoky Mountains. Oh, wow. yeah. Yeah. There you go. Smoky Mountains. La Quercia. Okay, and then there's this. I don't know if I'm saying this right. La Quercia. American-made, American-inspired acorn borsalino salami with acorn Tamworth pork. What? Look Whoa. at that. that Did good. you know... That looks thick. That starting May 28th, a 40-year-old ban on the import of many Italian salamis will end. Did you know that we have not been able to get Italian salamis here? Why? Is no, it because like of like E. coli and stuff? The Department of Agriculture has announced Italian regions of Lombardy, Emilia Romagna, Veneto, and the Piedmont, blah, 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 are now free of swine vesicular disease. Oh, wow. And able to send their products here. 40 years ago, apparently, there was swine vesicular disease. They stopped them. You could get things like. Oh, prosciutto and mortadella, but you couldn't have the salamis and stuff like that. Didn't know now that. you can. Didn't know. Pretty, you know, in Canada, you can't serve rare hamburgers. Stop it. I, I, I don't know. I, don't I know that. it's in Alberta. I don't know about Canada wide. In Alberta, you are. It's illegal to send to sell rare hamburgers. Uh, I don't know if I believe that. I promise. Well, I can't wait okay. to that salami, man. Uh, yes. Okay, hold on. I'm just getting my, uh, my, I'm getting my stuff over here, and I think that I'm almost ready. Okay. I think I'm almost ready to start up a hot pan and get some of that, <laughs> grill the ramen into it. I can't Keep wait. Your oh, yeah. We got this couple little things we're going to put on top of it. It's going to be very simple. It should be really interesting. Mm -hmm. Wait, have you done this before? No. I've heard about it, but I've oh, never done it. Well, I can't wait. But you've heard about it. It's I've like, heard about it. I've never done it. That's just how we I roll. I can't wait to do it. Yeah, me neither, man. Okay, I'm set. You guys ready to go uh, bust this thing out? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, let's hit it. Uh, all right, so, uh, yes, fixtures uh, in July. We're talking about a Father's Day thing. Nice. Fathers, sons, me, cooking, having fun. So watch for that. We'll talk about that as we get closer. I was a little mean to the, uh, the uh, Psalm uh, drinking vinegar. Uh, a, I tried it full strength, which I shouldn't. You're supposed to mix it, so it's like one to four in here now. But as I was trying this... I was thinking it might benefit from. Oh, I think I think <laughs> a little something something. Oh, that's probably gonna be perfect. A little whiskey. Look at the way it sits in there. Might be. A, it's sort of like apple cider like, you know, mm -hmm. a little bit. Oh damn it! That's really good. I take back everything I said. This could be my new favorite mixer for this. Wow. Hmm. Wow, you really like it. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's, it's really tamarind. good that way. I didn't even notice that. Tamarind, I, yeah, I didn't notice that either. Anyway, shout out to the Psalm Full Strength Drinking Vinegar. Nice work. I didn't understand it. I thought it was a... Uh, who are those people that we were just talking about earlier? Hipsters. I thought it was a hipster thing. Probably is a hipster thing. Anyway, okay, look what we've got. Here's the noodles. And I hope I haven't gone too far with this because I don't want it to fall apart. Whoa. I just want to drain it now. Whoa. Okay. And I shoot. Now, I this concept far. of. I hope I haven't gone too far. Well, you think it's too soft? It might be too soft. I think I needed to keep it a little bit, a little bit firmer. No. I mean, no, I've never really done it. We're about to find out. Uh, okay, so look what I've got. I've got the grill pan heating here. What I if I want to cook it in the grill pan? Sam, what if yeah. you soak one right now? 
and then we can grill that one. If it doesn't work out by that time, you can have another one. Soak another one? Yeah. Good idea, man. I mean, I suppose if you didn't have any, you know, teriyaki sauce or anything like that, you could very easily just season the water with uh, the little packet that comes in the thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That works out. Let me just do this again. Uh, oh, shoot. Just use a drinking vinegar. <laughs> I'll just use that. By the way, check this out. This is from a company called Bourbon Barrel Foods. It's called Kentucky Yaki. So it's teriyaki with a little taste of Kentucky bourbon in it. Ooh. It's really delicious. Yeah. We have a bunch of other stuff that they sent us to check out, and we'll, uh, we'll get to those. So I'm getting this hot. I need a little green onion. Why do I need a little green onion? Garnish. You're Sam the cooking guy. Because I freaking love green onion. Yeah, you do. You're right, Max. What doesn't deserve a little green onion? So we'll have some of this right here. I got a couple of these broken, but I can still use them. These guys. And um, what else do I want to put on this? Maybe some sesame seeds or something. I don't know. That's starting to look to me like it's not going to work. Like, I think I went too far with that. I hope not, Lynn. I really hope we'll, not. We'll see, man. Okay. All right, so we'll just start to cut this up a bit. This diced up a little just to go on top. My pan's getting hot. Mm-hmm. But you know what? This is kind of why we still are called the live cast, even though we're not... <laughs> Because nothing's rehearsed? <laughs> yeah, exactly. In fact, that works, right? I'll tell you what else works is this. I don't always drink, I don't always have drinking vinegar, but when I do, it's always some. <laughs> By Puck Puck. All right, I think we can do this. Just do it, man. I'm just going to put it in. I mean, I'm not really going to. Yeah, let's just do it. Might need a little oil or something in here. Let me just do this. What do you think, Lynn? We are grilling ramen on the Sam Live how, how can it not work, right? It sounds great, but there's nothing wrong with the concept, right? It's just No, there's not. Wow, yes. There Except could be I, something wrong with the concept if it sticks. Oh, well. But I didn't think about that. But now I'm just going to let it do its thing, right? Yeah, I mean, like... Do I want to do this? I don't know if I do. Do I'm it. scared. Do it. Aren't you scared a little bit? We'll probably keep it together better. Do you think? Um, I guess. <laughs> At this point, your guess is a good one. I'm just mind. letting it go like that. I feel like it's going to spread out too much. And I'm just going to let it just crisp away on there. Why wouldn't I? Yeah. <sighs> All right, all right, so we're almost there, so we've got this. I mean, at least this makes a good point. You keep some teriyaki sauce in the house. So one of the things that uh, we shot for Bed Bath Beyond today was about grilling, and we grilled, uh, do you still have them back there, Lynn, or did you eat them all? The skewers? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I think I got. Can you hold one up? Let's see. Are Wait. they over there? Oh, I don't no, think they're, they're back here. Go to oh, one. Mm -hmm. Oh, Max got them in here, hold on. There you go, Lynn. There you go. Those look. Those were good, and there were about twenty more, and I ate them. There's all. about twenty more. So look at those were frozen meatballs. We defrosted. We threw on the grill with a little oil on them. Got color, and then started basting them with teriyaki sauce. Took them off. Green onion, sesame seeds, and a skewer. And they're just a really good, fun appetizer. If you're heating up your grill to put on a tri-tip or some steaks or ribs or whatever it is. Think about this as a little early appetizer to the whole thing. Sorry, I can't see. Can I? You yeah, can, you can come good. back. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. No, stay in there. <laughs> Leave them in there. Uh, I'm a little. How's it looking? Well, it's falling apart. I a see some color at the bottom. Do you? I see some color too. I wonder how I'm going to be able to do this. I don't really have a wide enough spatula for the whole thing. I don't think if I should give it. Let me just put a little oil on top so when I turn it. It's not going to stick too bad. I feel like I need to try it. Should I try it, boys? Just do it. Just do it. Booyah. 
Ooh. Hmm. So what's the premise of grilled ramen? Like, so you get, here's, the, here's what I imagine the premise is. You get crispy ramen on the outside, right? Lots of crispy noodle on the outside. You get it still relatively soft on the inside, and then it becomes a base for anything. Holy shit, watch this. You wanna see what it becomes a base for? I just had an idea. Back up Keep one foot. One. Two feet, two feet, there you go, hold on. Give me a sec. Fried egg. Watch this, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, just get hot, get hot, get Wait, hot, get hot. You wanna check your hot. other noodles too? Oh, no, they've only been a couple of minutes. Well, you never know, sir. I will check them, but... Oh, then the water's been a little colder, too. Right. Okay, this is going to be one of my favorite things. Here's how this is going to go down. Here's the way to eat this, ladies and gentlemen. Out comes the Japanese mayonnaise. This is, you're right, Lynn, this is still live in a very important sense. And live in the sense that no, that's not even close to being ready. But look what's happening here. We're going to do this. It won't be as pretty. The second one that we make is going to be prettier, Lynn. It's getting a lot of heat. It's getting a lot of heat. And now the butter's starting to melt here. This is hot. This is hot. I hate to do this, Max. I know you don't like it when I put that thing on because the noise. Oh, no, it's okay. It's all part of cooking, dude. It's all part of cooking. All right, so this is going to go here, in this bowl, green onion. I might give it one more flip. Okay, let's try the egg. I'm just trying to hurry this along. And you know when the white doesn't start changing color right away, it's not hot enough? Yeah. But that's okay. A little salt. A little pepper. A little togarashi. Oh, yeah. I feel like I gotta turn this. Okay, it's gonna get one more flip on the other side. It's going full steam ahead here, folks. I wish I'd thought about this egg thing. This is going to be really good. And the bourbon's really good. This could be my new official drink. And I have to imagine it can't be bad for you. There's some sugars. There's no protein. There's definitely no fat. And the calories per serving, a one ounce serving, there's 16, ah, is, is 99 calories. It's not that big a deal. No. It's good too. It's a lot of flavor, I'm sure. Yep, it's really good. Okay, here we go. We've got the Kentucky Yaki that I now want to do a little bit on here. I forgot. Crap. Lynn, you made me forget. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> a brush. One of these silicone ones. The egg gets to be flipped now. Oh, in about two seconds. Okay, so this is not actually stayed together very well, but that's all right. It still smells so good. Yeah, I think this is gonna be really good. Okay, now we'll flip the egg. Ready? Here's how this is gonna go down. We're coming out to the plate right here. There we go. That, turn the fan off. Grilled noodles, man, nice. Ready? Mm-hmm. For the over easy fried egg on top. Turn off the stove. Japanese mayo. Green onions. Bunch of green onion. And a little bit more of the togarashi. Just because. All right, here's the bite I want. Damn. 
Here's the bite. Right here. Hold on. Right there's the yolk. Boom. The yolk Whoa. opens up. You get a little bit of the egg, the runniness. You get some of the noodles with a little bit of the teriyaki on it. Sorry. You get some of the noodles with a little bit of the Kentucky yaki on it. Okay. I'm going to say this. I'm going out on a limb here. Mm. It's freaking amazing. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, really? Here's what's really nice. What I thought was going to happen, the crispy on the outside with the soft in the middle, that is an absolute 10. But now what you've got is you've got this rich fatness of the yolk mixed with the, the mayonnaise and a little bit of the spicy part of the togarashi. If I had a restaurant, that would be on it. If you don't have this, the togarashi, and you don't have the Japanese mayonnaise, well, you should try to find them. But regular mayonnaise maybe mixed with a little bit of mustard will get you kind of close to this. Oh, my God. Seriously, one of the best things I've eaten in a long time. It might look ridiculous. I'm just saying how good it is. You have to make this. And that's the thing about the live cast. Then's right. What we do... Maybe not be exactly live, but it's live in the sense that we don't know really what we're doing until we do it. All right. Thanks for hanging out with us. That's amazing. We love the fact that you're here. It's ramen week. You want to know what I'm making uh, Wednesday? Ramen? Yes. How? Do you want to know now? I'll tell you. Will you? Mm -hmm. All right. Sweet and sour. Oh, nice. I oh. think it's going to be good. I oh, think yeah. it's going to be good. Little pineapple, little ketchup, some brown sugar, a little bacon in it for a little, you know, bacon thing. Booyah. It's going to be a good week. Ramen week on the live cast. Thanks for hanging out with us. See you on Wednesday. Go away now.